Hello and welcome to the next episode in the INA 5 on the Flying Wing series. We are slowly coming up to the end and today, today let's take care of the OSD. At the moment when I'm recording this video, the INA supports the three main OSD providers, which are the analog FPV with the OSD chipset installed on the flight controller, the DJI FPV and HD0 over the MSP DisplayPort protocol. Depending on the hardware, hardware type, you of course have to wire everything in a slightly different way. Today, however, we will not cover the wiring, we will cover only the INAV setup. In case of the analog FPV, here in the configuration tab, you have to ensure that the OSD feature is turned on. In case of DJI FPV and HD0, you have to go to the ports tab and here assign one of the serial ports for this function. In my case, it will be the serial port 3 and in case of the DJI FPV I have to select the function DJI FPV VTX however if I would be using the HD0 I have to select the function HD0 VTX because I'm using the DJI FPV I will select the DJI FPV VTX save and reboot and by the way do me a favor hit the like button and drop a comment to what you think about this video and this video tutorial series after this is set up you are basically done and at this moment when everything is powered you should already be seeing some kind of the osd if you use the analog osd and you see some kind of the garbage on the screen that means you have to upload the fonts to do it go to the osd tab open the font manager select the font you would like to use and hit upload font after some waiting the flight controller will reboot and the osd should work just fine important note the font upload is a thing only for the analog osd both dgi and the hd0 msp display port do not use the fonts you can upload from the flight controller i now detects which kind of the osd you are using and then on the OSD tab it will only present you with the OSD elements the system you are using can render correctly and that means that in case of the analog and the HD0 you would see all the possible OSD elements in case of the DJI FPV you will see only elements that are rendered by the goggles directly or are accessible via the craft name element I'm using DJI so my list of the available OSD elements is kinda shortish, but it's just enough in the most of the cases. Bear in mind, the legacy craft name hack, when you had to put a special characters into the craft name to do some kind of the magic, is no longer a thing in INAV. Everything is configurable via the OSD tab without you having to put absolutely anything into the craft name. You can even have the craft name and a different OSD element elements rendered inside of the craft name. And then you only have to decide which OSD elements you want to see and where you want to put them. It's 100 up to your needs and imagination how your OSD screen will look like. One very important note about the video format. Yes, we all know that the video format of the camera has to match and so on. However, for some time in INAV there is option to select the HD. HD option is only and only for the HD0 integration. Never select the HD format for the analog OSD or DJI. Use it only in case of the HD0. In the next video in this series, we will cover the black box topic. But that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching and like always, happy flying!